Hey guys, welcome to the 18th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at bools. And I should have done this in a past tutorial because it's like really simple, but you need to know this. And basically, what a bool is is it is just it's a variable that can hold the um, a boolean value, which is either true or false. So, take a look at that. First, you're going to need to have a text box and a button on your main form. And then you're just going to double click on your button. And then right up here, we're going to create a new bool called bool1. Okay. And now to see what our value our bool is going to have, we're just going to have an if statement saying if textbox1.text is 0 oops then bool one will equal false if textbox one dot text is one then bool one will have a value of true and then we're just going to have a message box show the um boolean or the the value of the bool and if you're ever programming with bools, you'll probably never put it to string. But this is just to show you what um, what the value of the bool is. So now if we type 0, we should um, get a message box that says false. There we go. If we get type 1, we get true. Okay. Now... Um, one more thing that I should show you with bools is when deciding or when checking to see if a bool if a bool is true or false by using an if statement, you can just do like if and then bool one inside the parentheses. And what if is if and then bool one inside the parentheses is the same as um this. same as that and then if we wanted them to be if we wanted it to be false we do if and then we have a exclamation point and then bool one and that is the same as if bool one is false Blah. all right so let's test this and uh, make sure this if statement works. So if we have if bool one is um, true, which it will be, so we can just delete this false one. If bool one is true, we'll have a message box dot show um, the value of your bool is true. All right. So now let's test this. So now when we click this button, we should just get this message box. And there. So I know this was a really quick tutorial, but it's not much more to bools than that. So if you have any questions about bools or anything else about programming, I guess, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer your question. So I'll see you guys.